Ashley Tisdale is, quote, finally fully herself and feeling all of that, quote, self-love after getting her breast implants removed. The 35-year-old took to Instagram to reveal that she went under the knife to have her breast implants taken out after she, quote, began struggling with minor health issues. Quote, prior to surgery, I constantly felt my body was less than and thought this change would make me feel more whole and more secure about myself. And for a short period of time, it did. She wrote alongside a pic of herself laying at the beach, which was taken two months after her explant surgery. The high school musical alum went on to note that she started feeling a bit off after getting the implants. Quote, but little by little, I began struggling with minor health issues that were just not adding up food sensitivities, as well as gut issues, and I thought could be caused by my implants. So last winter, I decided to undergo implant removal. Ashley shared that she can, quote, finally be fully me after opting for implant removal surgery. Quote, this journey has been one of growth, self-discovery, self-acceptance, and most importantly, self-love. The actress ended her candid post by sharing that she's focused now on, quote, living a non-toxic life. This isn't the first time the star has gotten super honest. Ashley got emotional talking to Access Hollywood back in 2018 about her past battle with anxiety and depression. Struggles with anxiety and depression. You have over 20 million social followers as well, so your influence is far-reaching. Why did you want to tackle this, you know, in your album? Coming, um, becoming so open about your depression, anxiety. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't yeah. something that I was like, I'm going to tackle this. It just actually naturally, organically happened. Yeah. I've been in and out of the studio for four years, and um, I knew to, in order for me to get back into music, it had to be important. And so it's just like the first song I co-wrote was a song called Symptoms, based off of all the symptoms I was having. And so from there, I was like, oh, I think I know what this album is. And yeah. Um, you know, it's just really personal for me, and the reason why I wanted to do it was because I wanted to make someone at home feel less alone in their journey, and I think it's the first time people are really going to get to know me for who I am versus a character I've played in a movie. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a very private person, so I keep things really personal, but um, it's hard to be vulnerable. It's, like, scary, it but I'm, I'm, you know, I think that it's important to share you know, what I've been through and say that, you know, I'm human and I go through those things too. Was yeah. there one defining moment where you felt like it was okay to talk about or that you realized that you were suffering from these things? You know, um, it wasn't a really defining moment. I guess it would just be that I was doing a self-help book and one of them is letting go of fear of failure and so that is actually what got me back into the studio. And um, I think just based off of whenever I'm with my friends, you know, it's really easy to be like, who suffers from anxiety? And everybody will raise their hand. Yeah. But if you say like, who suffer, suffers from depression? Like no one raises their hand because there's just a stigma around the word. And I just feel like we gotta let go of that. Um, I think anxiety can be just as bad. It's like just as horrible and painful. Debilitating. It's debilitating. I'll be in a production meeting and I will be having a panic attack inside and just frozen. And it's just like, it's. I think it's just as bad. So I just feel like, you know, with this album, it's all upbeat. There's yeah. nothing that you're dwelling in. It's more about taking those symptoms of depression, anxiety, and um, being like, you know what? This is what we have, and like, it's all good. You know, well, we can get through it. And music is so cathartic, and I think probably in writing and, yeah. and producing the album as well. But you're also helping so many people. There were lots of people on Twitter expressing, you know, thanks to you. And I told my English professor about voices in my head. She decided to play to my classroom with texts about insecurity. Your song is so important. I'm so proud of you. It must do a lot for you to, to get that kind of feedback and to know that you're helping. It does. It's like makes me emotional, actually. Um, it does. It just like. It's overwhelming to see the response from everybody. Aww.